I'm in Santa's workshop in Queens County, and I'm with two, and actually three, of the hardest working elves I've ever seen. Christmas Angels program started so that we could bring Christmas to every child in Queen Anne's County that was in need of Christmas or in need of assistance. Yeah. So we have tons of stuff around us and we're bagging this up and we're giving it to tons of kids in the area. How many kids do we plan on reaching this year? It'll definitely be over a thousand children. Last year we did 1,488 kids. We asked the basic questions to the parents or the guardians, the child's age, the sex, the shirt size, the pants size, the coat size, their favorite colors, what their wants are and what their needs are. And if you're a family in need, it's not too late to sign up. Or if you're a family that wants to help, it's probably not too late to sign up for that either, right? Exactly. <laughs> we need help in regards to creating hygiene bags because every child that leaves here gets a hygiene bag. Every child gets a blanket. Since we've been open, Project Linus has supported us providing blankets, so we were able to put them in everyone's bags. Many community members come together to create the blankets through Project Linus. And then at Christmas time, they bring them into us. So when we say Queen Anne's County community supports our project, they support this project, which inadvertently supports our project, and it's community coming together um, to, for a wonderful cause. Do you have a QAC TV blanket in here? Not yet, but I'm sure you, well, we can teach you how to tie these. There you go. Um, project Linus, <laughs> please reach out to him. There's a lot of work going on behind the scenes too. So how's that helping? The Queen Anne's County Commissioners have been very supportive of us. Um, we are under the Queen Anne's County Local Management Board. From um, the day we started, Mike Clark with the Queen Anne's County Local Management Board has been very supportive to make us a 5013C. We do run under Queen Anne's County Advocates for Youth. The Jacob Sloan Foundation, they have supported us through Chesapeake Charities because we also have a fund there as well. Our Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office, um, they are one of our drop spots for up north. So as for all the deputies and the ladies that work there, um, their offices were completely filled with bikes and presents for Christmas. The other thing that we really want to stress is if you are a sponsor and you are sponsoring a child or a family, we do not take away any items from your purchasing. All we do is quality control check and make sure it's the correct sex, the correct size, and the wants and needs are met. If they're, We may add to your bag by adding hygiene or a blanket or maybe that special toy. We want holidays not to be depressing. We want holidays to be fun mm -hmm. and kids should have fun. That's how we both feel. So that's why we start early so the parents get the package and they can see what's in that package. Or if they're setting money aside to buy that special gift for their child, they see the other th items are already taken care of that they can use their own resources to do that. Right, and they can get some a little bit more fun maybe. Exactly. Something that will spice up Christmas. If someone wants to get involved, maybe come by, help pack or help anyway, mm -hmm. how do they do it? They can message us on Facebook. We do have a Facebook, um, the Queen Anne's County Christmas Angels. They can email me, they can text us. I know you have a lot to do, so I won't take up any more time. Great. But it's time for everyone, if you're watching, to be involved. Either help out with your time, help out with uh, maybe some donations, and do whatever you can because every child in Queen Anne's County deserves a very special Christmas. And thank you for making that happen.